It's the game of celebrity gossip, Paddle Tales. Welcome to Tattletales. Nice to have you with us. And all of you, too. We're going to have a good time today. I promise you that. We have some wonderful people. One of the good things today, too, is that these are people who've all been married for a while, and that, that gives uh, Tattletales an extra little hook. So, so you're going to meet them now. Here they are. Winning money for the blue section from Three's Company, Mr. Richard Klein and Sandra Klein. Go blue. Winning money for the bananas today is David Doyle and Ann Doyle. Winning money for the red section is Lyle Wagoner and Sharon Wagoner. <laughs> what an attractive team we have. Three lovely couples, I must say, with one exception. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Perfect. Sarah, I'm glad you're there. You weren't there. I, did, did you just sneak into that seat? I just sn I snuck in here um, from San Jose. You did, eh? It was a big sneak. <laughs> Who's San Jose to? A couple of bananas. They'll, they'll yell for anything. They don't know. <laughs> San Jose, right, my baby. Okay, ladies, first question. We'll start with that, and then we'll talk later. Uh, your close friend has suddenly decided to become an actress, and she's currently in a local play. That's your friend, ladies. While watching her performance, you realize she's really terrible at this. <laughs> and you know she's going to ask your opinion at the end of the evening. Would you tell her your real feelings, yes or no? She's just starting out, I suppose. Your coach has suddenly decided, yes. Off you go. Um, how does Sandra feel about that? What would she well, do? Well, I don't know. That's a beautiful question because uh, I've been in a few plays in my time. And uh, when I have friends coming to the theater, <laughs> I just feel like putting up a, a sign. Say. Either don't say anything or don't come. Right. Right? That's right. Because you know they're always going to glad hand you and say, gee, you were great, even though they were suffering out there. Yes. Right? Th that's those famous things that people say when they come backstage. It is know? a very sensitive area for very an actor, hard. whether it's a, a, a beginning actor or a, an actor who's been around for a while. I would say the best thing is to just nod your head and smile. Gee, you were great, and get out of there. Yeah. As no, as I can. lie. I think the best thing is I to lie. I think so. Even so, if you hated it and you thought they were terrible, it was yeah, wonderful. Because, you you know, were great. You know, I've had people come back and say, boy, really out there. <laughs> what a curtain. That, what a curtain went up right on time, you know? I mean, they yes. didn't do anything but you know, talk you, about the Gee, play. the seats were great. We were right in you know, fourth row. Thanks so much. Yes, great orange juice at intermission. Mm. <laughs> Terrific. So would, anyway, I think Sandra would, would, would be very diplomatic. She would not. She would hide her real feelings. Yes, sir. Instead of saying, you know what? You stink, pal. Here Absolutely. she comes. <laughs> Sandra, what will you do? Oh, this is so hard. Oh, good. I don't want to hurt her feelings, but... Her feelings are going to be hurt if I don't tell her, and I'm her close friend, so I think I would, I'd tell her. Uh, no, that's not what Richard said. Richard would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he said that, well... Gee, uh, you told me I was great. <laughs> but you the are. play I did. Oh, yeah. oh, sure. She did that very well, so you couldn't yeah. tell her real feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Sandra. Uh, David, what will Ann do, say, and or? Well, Ann. we've talked about it, uh, this uh, situation, because it does come up a lot. Um, my contention has always been that it's fait accompli. Anyway, there's nothing you can do about it. It's like, I don't know why people persist in dissecting your performance in a play or a film or a television series. What can be done about it? Nothing. It is it's over. over. <laughs> Thank God you've been paid. <laughs> and you do have friends on the outside. Yes, right. You have a life. I think that you do whatever makes the person who has uh, performed to feel comfortable, which is you tell them, gosh, I'm so glad I came and you were terrific. Yes, I think that's probably the best course of action, except that in this case, it is a close friend who has just decided. Now, it means big change in her life. She's, had, she's made major life decisions here. Oh, well, let the reviews do that for her. Okay. <laughs> All right. She's going to spare her feelings. Sure. Let her make her own mind up. She oh. made it to get in, make it to get out. Okay. Here she comes. And it's your choice. What are you going to do? This is your close friend. I'd have to tell her after the performance? Yeah. No, not then. No. You would protect her feelings, and that's yes. what the man Ooh. said. <laughs> I'd tell her later, <laughs> but not then. Just, uh, just take her to lunch someday, get her a couple of drinks, and say, you know... <laughs> You're Have you lousy. ever thought about computer programming? 
perfect thing to say. Lyle, what will Sharon do? All right, well, if she will analyze the question here, number one, that the person is a very close friend, yes? Yes. Someone that, it, that they depend on, and mm -hmm. they, they want an opinion immediately after the show? Well, or sure. Or later on? You know, she, she says in here that she knows she's going to ask her. She's going to go backstage, and knows. she knows the girl's going to say, well, what do you think? Okay, well, um, Sharon's a very candid person, but she's also very diplomatic, and she wouldn't want to want to hurt the person's feelings. Uh, Hard to be candid and diplomatic, you know what I mean? Well, she does a pretty good job of it. Yeah. Um, I would think that she would... She would I, I would think she would tell them if she was really asked, you know, a, uh, a personal question like that by a good friend. I think that she would in some way let them know that she needed a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> then she thinks she met with her hair or her face or something. You're going to say she's going to tell her. Yes, I... I going to let her so. know but the you truth. Know, we're never right on this show anyway. So. Well, <laughs> don't say that. The red section will leave. Okay, here she comes. Sharon, what will you do? Close friend and she... You know, she knows you're going to offer an opinion, or you know you're going to be asked. Yes, I am, and, and this is such a difficult yes or no question, because in either case, it would have, you know, so much more would have to go along with it. But I'm going to say yes, I would tell her the truth, but I also... You're right. We'll get your qualification after, after the hand. Yes. Because, I, you know, I would have to explain to her that no one starts out perfectly. Everybody's got to work very hard to get, in most cases, you know, okay. I don't... Very nicely and, done. Um, yes. You were I, right. Diplomatic and candid. Right. But yes. I Perfectly would... done. Sharon and Lyle and Ann and David are right. Split the first one in half. We'll come back in a moment. We'll split a whole bunch more of them. And don't tell us what you thought of the first one. I could do. Who needs New Year's resolutions when you can call the psychic solution? A better New Year awaits. Here's why. He asked me if I, you know, had a miscarriage some time ago. And that's true. I was like, how did this guy know that? He convinced me. She knew I was pregnant, and he doesn't even know yet. She's someone that I would like to talk to on a weekly basis. You've done some traveling recently. I see you on a beach. You're having a great time. I just took a trip to Nassau, and he said, I see islands. You were just on an island. I'll definitely recommend this. This is a good time. With readings like these from The Psychic Solution, there's no need for a New Year resolution. Feels like if you're talking to your best friend on the other line, I'm going to go home personally and tell a lot of people about this. I mean, it's so easy, you know, just go home and call. It's really, really good. And I know what she's saying is real. They might be skeptical at first, but a phone call is all it's going to take. And then they'll change their minds, believe me. Call now for your 1997 forecast, because a great new year is only a phone call away. Call 1-800-329-1415. Who is Dave Nina? That's what people are always saying. Who is that guy? I've been a weather guy, a sportscaster. Uh, PM Magazine co-host, a news anchor, a general assignment reporter, a movie critic. I'm a people person. I hope Club AM is half as much fun to watch as it is to do. What I really want to be is a rock star. Dave Neiman, weekday mornings on Club AM. Welcome to you all. Okay, here we go. Question number two coming up. Now, Richard, listen carefully now. You've got to get this one right. Ladies, if a husband wants to have a baby and the wife wants to wait, is it wrong for her to take birth control pills without telling her husband, or would you say that that's okay? What would you say? Goodbye. <laughs> they're, they're going... <laughs> it's probably the guys. Um, what do you think? Uh, well, we're not starting with you, Richard. We're starting with David. What will Ann say? And just, uh, who wants what? Tell me that again. Well, the, the, the husband wants to have a baby. Yes. But the wife wants to wait. Yes. She should tell him, okay, then you have the baby. Uh, <laughs> should she take birth control pills without telling him yes or no? To, so make, she makes sure that they wait. Boo, <laughs> grumbling, grumbling. <laughs> Mercy. Lots There's of no dissension reason. out there amongst the bananas. <laughs> The grapefruits. The grapefruits? <laughs> oh, they've changed their name to the grapefruits. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, it yes. could have been a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah between you and me, uh, between you and me, banana spits, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> um, I, uh, I believe that Ann would say, in other words, should the, should the woman go ahead and take the pill without telling. Right. Right? Right. No, I think she'd say, um, I mean, have a good, uh, have it out discussion. Yeah. 
And of course, then, if he doesn't agree, go ahead and take it. To, in other words, follow your own desires, but at least square it off so he knows what's going on. It may not be to his liking, but uh, so the answer would be uh, it would not be okay. Would or would not to be not to, not to secretly do it. No, go ahead and uh, have a discussion and well, then uh, do it uh, knowingly. Now, what's the answer? I want brother. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I get, if, without, should you take the pills without telling her husband or would you say it's okay? No, she should not take the pills without telling her husband. Of course, if she took the pills and didn't tell him, imagine how hard he'd work trying to make it happen. <laughs> what a selfish girl. She'd say, no, I don't know, it's not working. <laughs> Poor guy, what more can I do? Oh my God. Now he'd be running off and having tests done. I, think yeah, it's, right. I only think it's fair and I, no, I. Uh, okay, the answer is no, here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think about this uh, wife? What should she do? What's her proper course of action? I I think she would, she could take them without telling him. You do, huh? That's not what you <laughs> said. Lots of booze in the banana section. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry about that. Okay, Lyle, what do you think uh, Sharon will say? Well, all right. Um, you know, planning a family is a very serious uh, business, and you've got to discuss it between the two of you and come to some kind of conclusion. Now, if he wants it and she doesn't, I think that uh, he should understand this and be willing to wait. And I don't think she should take it without him knowing it. So I think she'll say no. Uh, no, she shouldn't do yeah. that. All right, here she comes. Sharon, what should the, the wife do about the pill? Well, that would be horrible and deceitful for someone to do that. But if, um, if she didn't want to have a baby and she couldn't work it out with him, she shouldn't have a baby. So she should do it. Uh, no, that's not what he said. Terrific logic there, huh? No, she didn't want to, but she couldn't, so she did, so she should do it. I got it. I got it. I'm okay. Uh, I understood it. Nobody, I did too. That's what worries me. Uh, <laughs> nobody's gotten it right yet. Richard, you can... Uh, well, I wasn't planning on doing this. What? Uh, this is major news. I found out something yesterday about my wife, that she's going to have a baby. Oh, Are wow. you kidding? Oh. I wasn't going to mention oh, nice. it, but this is, that's a question, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Pam uh, I'm so excited, that's why I'm no, oh, so nervous Oh, that's today. wonderful. Just, it's called Tattletales, and you did right yes, here. I'm thinking about painting a, a room in the house blue or pink. Anyway. Or both. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think a husband and wife should discuss something like that, and it would be, in, in fact, very deceitful for a wife to do that. Yeah. You know? And so... I think Sandra would say what? No. She would say no. She shouldn't. Uh, she shouldn't take the pills without right. her husband knowing about her or something right. like that. Here she comes. Right. Sandra, what do you think about this particular situation? Uh, it would be wrong to carry a baby if you didn't really want it. That the time would have to be right, and I can't see two people not agreeing on it. But if she did have her reasons, I would think it would be okay to take. The <laughs> Look at this! Nobody got it right. <laughs> Three up, do you believe it? Three up and three down. That's all, folks. I love it. Every guy said no and every wife said yes. Do you believe it? What are they trying to tell us, guys? This $150 question goes over to our next one, making it worth $300. And we'll play that after halftime, guys. Step to the rear. Bring the ladies out front and continuing in just a moment. Don't go away. resolutions when you can call the psychic solution a better new year awaits here's why he asked me if i you know had a miscarriage some time ago and that's true i was like how did this guy know that he convinced me she knew i was pregnant and he doesn't even know yet she's someone that i would like to talk to on a weekly basis you've done some traveling recently i see you on a beach you're having a great time i just took a trip to nasa and he said i see islands you were just on an island i'll definitely recommend this this is a good time with readings like these from the psychic solution there's no need for a new year resolution feels like if you're talking to your best friend on the other line i'm gonna go home personally and tell a lot of people about this i mean it's so easy you know just go home and call it's really, really good. And I know what she's saying is real. They might be skeptical at first, but 
A phone call is all it's going to take, and then they'll change their minds, believe me. Call now for your 1997 forecast, because a great new year is only a phone call away. Call 1-800-216-4840. Remember when a candy bar used to cost a dime? Nowadays, it seems like you have to use a credit card to pay for just about everything. Unfortunately, credit cards are getting more and more homeowners in trouble. But the Money Store can help you consolidate all of your high-rate credit cards and other loans into one low monthly payment. All it takes is just one phone call, and you could be on your way to saving hundreds each month. You can't buy a candy bar for a dime anymore, but you can call the Money Store toll-free at 1-800-LOAN-YES. Bring home a holiday treat for the whole family. Mm. Matilda on home video. From the author of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, a delightful fairy tale of a girl with the power to make dreams come true. Go, go, go. Starring Danny DeVito and Mara Wilson in a movie full of mischief and magic. Matilda from Columbia TriStar Home Video. Own it now at a great low price. Happy Holidays! from Game Show Network and its family. Hello. <laughs> um, all right, we've changed places. Obviously, I have three lovely ladies with me. One of them, well, actually, I have three and a half uh, <laughs> out here. Yeah. Gentlemen, uh, which of the following would fit your wife the best if you bought them without consulting her? A pair of shoes, a pair of gloves, or a bra? <laughs> Which could you buy that would fit her best, okay? Think it over. Goodbye. Uh, we'll start with you, Sharon. Which could Lyle buy for you? Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't pay much attention to my feet. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I see the direction you're going, yes. <laughs> But he does hold my hand. No, I think he would probably buy me the right bra. You think so, huh? What a guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here he comes. Lyle, which uh, item will you be uh, most successful with? If I bought her a bra, it would fit like a pair of gloves. So <laughs> I would think a pair of shoes I would be safest with. No! That's <laughs> Bert, I yes. have to tell you. Now, I have been wearing a little ring on my toe for a month. In Driving here, I didn't have my shoes on because I was getting ready really fast. We, we were late. And he looked and he said, oh, you've got a ring on your toes. It's been there for a month. Solid month. And he didn't notice it. <laughs> yeah. Now well, he's telling me that he, he notices my Yeah, I, I can understand that, though. I mean... Uh, what did she say I'd buy? Huh? The bra. Oh. oh. She didn't wear one. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no ring there, so you probably wouldn't have noticed that either. <laughs> Ah, Bert, you haven't seen You son of a gun. Thank you, sir. Sandra Old Richards. <laughs> well, because of um, what Richard so recently exposed everyone, yes. um, he wouldn't buy me a bra. So, and I, I don't wear gloves. He knows what size shoes I wear, so he would probably buy me shoes. Yeah, what size do you wear? Seven and a half. Okay, and he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he buys boots with me all the time. Okay, because usually guys forget, so oh, it's either a knows. six or a seven, or what is it? Uh, and then the sales lady always says, well, how, how about her feet next to mine? What if, <laughs> right. You always go through that. Okay, uh, it's a good thing it wasn't the other one. Here she comes. Uh, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, well, which item could you buy, sir? I think we might be in luck here because uh, my wife had a birthday recently and I was looking through one of those scandalous lingerie magazines, oh. as I want to do yes. late in the evenings. Mm. And uh, I would say, I think I asked her what her bra size was, so I think she would say that. <laughs> no, that's not what she said. But you guys are doing real well. You're doing real good today. Yeah. I, I gave him my shoe size. Uh, I gave him my shoe size. You gave him the shoe size for your bra size. <laughs> I'll have a seven, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. Sorry, but Sandra said shoes. And you can get the whole thing for the grapefruits. I, I'm afraid to say bananas. I, what do you think? Don't cheer yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, he's bought me gloves, but that was a long time ago. And because we live here, I never wear them except when I go back east. Right. The bra, he's never bought me a bra. I don't think he would think about it. No. I mean, in terms of buying something. I think he knows my shoe size. He's bought shoes with me. I'll say shoes. Okay. Good, good. See, logical deduction. You did that beautifully. You, Thank you figured you. that out. And Thank unfortunately, you, now we have to bring I'm David correct. on. Yes. Here he comes. 
David, you can get the whole thing now for your, oh, oh, really? for your grapefruits. Yes, what will it be? I'm trying to think of what I've got out and been around when uh, she purchased. I think that I would come the closest to getting the exact size if I bought her shoes. That's it. You got it. <laughs> Very nicely done. You get the whole thing. Okay. We'll come back in a moment with a $300 question that will decide it. Heck out. There's no white like Plus White. With its dual action anti-stain polishers, Plus White whitens like no ordinary toothpaste can. There's, There's no, no white, white like Plus White. No wrinkle cream or moisturizer can do this, no matter what they cost. Only Sudden Change Under Eye can remove the appearance of wrinkles and puffiness in minutes. Sudden Change Under Eye. Curls won't hold? Hair too fine and limp? Get hold that curl. The first spray just to hold curls to last and last and stay soft and full. Hold those curls with Hold That Curl. People are talking, talking to people. They'll see me say it. You won't believe it. You can believe it. Sprint's great dime a minute rate just got better. Not just a little better. No way. Sprint said, Let's give them something to talk about. And this is it. Call for Sprint Sense and you'll pay just 10 cents a minute, 24 hours a day, seven days a week to the number you call most often. So call now and start talking. And when you sign up for Sprint Sense, there's no confusion about what you're paying. It's always just 10 cents a minute on all your other state-to-state -state calls to anywhere in the country. Every evening, every night, and all weekend long. Let's give them something to talk about. On top of that, you'll get 10% cash back after your first year with Sprint. So call now. Get 10 cents a minute all day to the number you call most. Call now. 1-800-913-9719. He was the kind of guy you didn't mess around with. Impossible. He had street smarts, all right. Did you kiss the, uh, the wife of somebody involved on this particular program by any chance? And a keen sense of smell. He could track down secrets like nobody's business. I forgot what I asked there for a minute. <laughs> you can watch him in action. Bill Cullen. Oh, uh, who can play at this game? You know? I've got a secret. Weeknights, 9-ish Eastern, 6-ish Pacific. That's not, hello there. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> oh, listen, we got to move. Man, this question is for you. They say that behind every successful man is a woman. How much of your success is due to your wife? Is it closer to all of it, most of it, about half of it, or less than that? We've given you enough choices. Think it over, guys. Goodbye. I'll give those choices to you again, ladies. Is it closer to all of it, most of it, about half of it, or less than that. And we're starting with you, Sandra. You need the money. We're not well, doing well here. Oh. I guess... I mean, this is hard to know. I don't know what he feels. I think he would say at least half. And you'll say half of it. Yes. You help him and advise him right. on things. And, right. And watch his performances and right. he listens to you. And right. They're major career decisions. You bet. That's great. Okay, mm. he'll say about half of it. Here I he comes. Hope so. Uh, you need to make a choice, Richard. What do you think? Could go over for four in this, right? <laughs> yes, you could. Well, uh, I actually met my wife uh, sometime after having landed a role in Three's Company, but she certainly has been an inspiration since then, and I would say most of it. No! How generous of <laughs> you. Thanks, anyway. That's very sweet. You've covered yourself yeah. with glory with Sandra, but <laughs> Blue Sucks is not too choked up. Okay. Uh, sorry, Richard. She said about half of it. Uh, we'll start with you, Sharon. I mean, we'll go to you. Well, Lyle and I have been a team for quite a long time. And he's very talented. And we, we go together really well because the things that he's talented in, I have none of. And the things that I seem to do better in, he doesn't do well at all in. So I'm going to say, it really, it's, we're a team half and half. But he is so sweet. He's going to say more than that. He's going to say... But that's not the truth. All right, but now... He's going to say, what's, what's it's, one Is it closer half? to all of it? Most of it? About half of it or less than that? He's, he will probably say most of it. Most of it. But it isn't the truth. We are a very good team. All right, here he comes. Lyle, make a choice, sir. Well, whatever success I've achieved, I think at least half of it's due to her. No, she... What'd she say? <laughs> she said you would say most of it, but the truth was all of it. But we won't go into that. Bert. 
don't do that. That's, um, that's, he'll see it. When he sees it at home, he'll know that that's, that's not, not true, Lyle. It's not what she said at all. I'm kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> <Ha>. <laughs> Tell him what you said, Sharon. I said that, that we were a very good team and worked half and half in things that you were good at. I wasn't very good at and things that I seemed to do better at. You did, and it was probably half and half. But I said, you're so sweet, you're going to say most of it or all of it. And he wasn't that sweet. <laughs> you not that? <laughs> he said, no, no, half. I'll explain later how I, how I figured this out very carefully. Sure you will. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and you can add to your score mightily. As a matter of fact, if you get this right, I don't want to put any pressure on it. It'll be the biggest score we've ever had on time. <laughs> Bill, the very biggest. What do you think? Well, um... I think that certainly David has the talent. That's his half of it. And I tell him what to do with it. <laughs> so I'll say uh, half of it. You'll say half. All half. right, here he comes. Don't mm -hmm. say a word now. David, you got a chance to really score the biggest score we've ever had on Tattle Tales. What do you think? How much of your success is due to your wife? Well, I've really been very fortunate. Uh, Anne is not only a lovely girl and a generous lady, but uh, really without her, I wouldn't be out here in California. She talked me into staying here many years ago. I may be uh, stingy uh, on my reply, but I, at least 50% of it. Half and half is it, and you got it. You got the whole thing. Time is up to win the game, and it's the biggest score we've ever had. And we'll come back in a minute and give the great boots their money. Woo. Why are we pouring mud on this kitchen floor, squirting ketchup, even cracking eggs? To show you why the new Quickie Automatic Mop is the best mop you'll ever buy. We tried this popular cotton mop on the dried egg, then this yellow mop, but they couldn't cut it. Or should we say clean it? But look at the Quickie Automatic. What's really unique is this scrubber head. No one else has it. Wow, that sticky egg mess comes right up. Scuff marks too. No more getting on your knees to scrub anymore. None of these mops has the scrubber feature. Only Quickie has it. Now, these twist mops claim that with a simple twist of the handle, they ring out clean. Oh, I don't think so. This really takes a lot of turns and time. Oh, it's killing my arms. And the Quickie automatic mop? Just one easy push and you're done. It's very little effort. And it's so easy compared to having to twist and twist. These two mops also say they're more absorbent. So we dip them into water, wrung them out, and look. The cotton mop absorbs some and the yellow mop even more. But the Quickie Automatic beat them both. Unbelievable. Its secret is this super absorbent natural fiber sponge that soaks up to ten times its weight in water. Now back to that muddy mess in the kitchen. The twist mops leave dirt streaks that you have to go over again to clean. But the Quickie Automatic cuts a clean swath, leaving nothing behind. Wow. Just look at the difference. And think of the time you'll save. Now, here's what really sold me. I hate lugging out a big bucket every time. So now I use this new Quickie Floor Spray. Just spritz lightly and its powerful detergents clean away dirt in one quick pass without having to rinse. Seeing is believing. So order the Quickie Automatic Mop today and get the floor spray, a sponge refill, and three scrubbers all free. A $10 value, but you must call right now. To order, call 1-800-949-0220. That's 1-800-949-0220. Or send a check for $19.95 plus shipping to 1150 Taylor's Lane, Cinnamons in New Jersey. You can't buy the Super Value Kit in stores. So call 1-800-949-0220. The greatest stars in movie history appear on Game Show Network. Please join us in welcoming Sally Field. How are you? There are three eligible bachelors on the other side of that partition, and it's up to you to figure out which one you'd love to date. Okay, number two, say something very mushy to me right now. Cream of wheat. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. <laughs> See your favorite stars on Game Show Network. Big winners today, the yellow section with Ann and David, 675. We had 1,000, they will divide $1,675. 1675. Thank you all, and thank you for being with us on Time of Tales. We'll see you the next time right here. Thanks so much. Bye. In addition to cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section selected at random will also receive Rubbermaid Microwave Cookware, the ultimate microwave cookware, because nothing else stacks up to it. And Niagara, America's number one selling spray starts, helps prevent the deep penetration of soil and stains for a crisper, firmer finish, Niagara Spray Start. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Tattletail. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.
The Bucks and the Mets tonight at 7.30 on KD.